Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Viaran and today I actually want to do a review on the brand new weapon that dropped with season 2, this is the Farah 83 and I've got to say guys, it's hit and miss, so it's really inconsistent, uh, I've got attachments on it, the accuracy when there's no attachments on it is absolutely awful. I don't recommend using this with the 30 round mag, it will just burn through bullets and I think it looks kind of like the Krig, I don't think it looks like the Galil at all, like, anyone who remembers the Galil knows exactly like how it feels, how it looks and this just looks and feels nothing like it. I'm going to be putting a suppressor on it to see how it acts with a suppressor on it like the Galil with a suppressor on it that was really good but this to me is just another version of the Krig or it's a MP5 built for long distance but anyway obviously with no attachments the gun is going to be bad there's no disputing that that's how the gunsmith works it happens with every gun every gun is awful with no attachments on it so keep that in mind I've put some attachments on it, I've put, I've increased the recoil control, I think it was vertical and horizontal that I've put on, I've done the strafe speed, I've done the ADS, I've basically made it quicker and more controllable, and I've also put a 40 round mag on it, which is needed guys, it is needed, but anyway, we go, we go into a couple of games, Apocalypse, that map, is absolutely awful. I'll probably do a season two review for the multiplayer side. I don't play Warzone, don't play zombies, so I don't want to have an opinion on them things. But on multiplayer, I play multiplayer a lot, so I feel like I've got a pretty good opinion when it comes to um, giving reviews. So season two review coming soon. This gun, as you'll see in this video, it's hit and miss. There are times where you will absolutely shred. Like, I think I get the game winning play. I think I get four of them in one clip. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. And then there are other times where it's like, I've just got six bullets in you. Why aren't you dead? Like, there, I've just got a double kill. But later on in the game, I empty him. Well, I probably empty about ten bullets into someone and he ends up killing me. I don't understand the gunfights at all with this gun, I, I just think it's really inconsistent, it's not the meta, as you can see people are still using meta guns, so it will get beat in a lot of circumstances, it's definitely fun to use, do I think it's viable? No, I, I prefer the Craig, I prefer the AK, I prefer the XM4. Maybe if you beef it up with a load of damage attachments, maybe it'll be viable. But right now, as it stands with these attachments on it to control the recoil and everything, it's just, for me, it's not consistent enough. You just, you lose too many gunfights when you know you should win, you know? And people can say, you know, like, that's Cold War. It happens all the time in Cold War, that's what the game is. I agree. But it happens more with this gun. Like, I can beam people with the Krig. And they'll die when they're supposed to die. Nine times out of ten. But people who are getting shot by this gun aren't actually dying. It's like... If you've emptied six bullets into someone, it's like... One or two bullets don't actually touch them. It's like they don't register. I don't want to hate on the game, as I said... I try to be as positive as I can, but obviously with Cold War it's a bit hard to do because the devs aren't listening to the community and that does get annoying and I do understand when Blame Truth and Bundit and them get really annoyed with the game and they start hating on it, I do understand that. But in terms of Season 2, I think my favourite part of Season 2 was the prestige icons. And I've got a video coming up about my favorite prestige icon in every single Call of Duty and maybe that will help you guys get to know me a bit more 
because I don't think you even know what my favorite Call of Duty is. So we'll we'll get into that video soon, maybe this week, maybe the weekend. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. But anyway, guys, if you do use this gun, don't get annoyed with it with no attachments. That's the worst thing you can do with any gun. Just power through and get the attachments. As soon as you've got the first grip, there is an improvement. You can control it a lot more. And then obviously after the first, first grip, you get the 40 round mag. Definitely put that on. I've just hit the mag again, apologies. But yeah, definitely put the 40 round mag on. And yeah, you'll... I don't know. I hope you get a better experience with it than I did. I did. My experience hasn't been good, but don't forget guys, that it is skill based matchmaking, so you're not supposed to be using a gun that isn't a meta gun. That's why you see a lot of AK-74Us running around and now you've got to compete with it because you want to use different guns because you want to have fun. And then skill based, if you want to keep your stats up, skill based is forcing you to use a meta gun. So. If you're using this gun guys, don't go running about charging willy nilly, just play smart, like I'm playing really campy and I hate, I absolutely hate that I have to play like this, but it's just how it is. I've always been running gun, I've always relied on my reactions in gunfights, that's why I used to play hardcore a lot and that's why I still run and gun on this game occasionally, because if your reactions are pretty good you're going to win a lot of gunfights. But on this game, because there's meta guns, you just can't do it. You've got to be careful with how you play. I'm on a 17 kill streak there. I know the gun looks good in this, guys, but I recorded about four different videos before this, and I was getting wrecked. Two of them were on Apocalypse. Absolutely awful map. I was struggling to go positive, it was so bad. Stay away from Apocalypse. Don't go on, on the 24-7 playlist. Stay away from Apocalypse. You do not want to go anywhere near that. It actually gave me vibes from the old zombies map, Shangri-La. How many OGs know that one? Shangri-La was an awesome map, but Apocalypse, that's the vibes that it gives me. And Apocalypse is just... It's awful. I don't think Treyarch are making these maps, you know. I don't think... I think it's like Raven. I think Raven might be making the maps. And whoever made this Gilil, it is not. It's not the Gilil. Everyone knows, well, all the OG mem uh, players know what the Gilil actually is, what it feels like. As I said before, everyone knows that. This isn't the Gilil. Doesn't even reload like the Gilil. It hasn't got the iron sights of the Gilil. That, it's not right. I don't know, guys. Um, I was expecting more, but obviously this is what we get. Never expect too much when it comes to Call of Duty, because you'll always be let down. That's my advice and tip for the day. This game is just rounding off. Like, it was so... Nine minutes. It nearly went the whole time limit. So many games are doing it, it's just ridiculous. But anyway guys, let me know what you think of Season 2 down in the comments section below. Leave a like if you did enjoy this video. I think my speech got a bit slurry there. Subscribe if you are new guys. I really appreciate it, it helps the channel grow. We're actually gr growing really, really quickly lately. So I do appreciate that. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next video.